you know, tickets differ in terms of how complex they are, but you know everything you need to in order to analyze the circuit. You know, from now on, it's just practice. It's really no new knowledge for DC analysis. And then for AC analysis, as long as the amplifier is linear and uh, small signal and we don't care about you know, noise and stability and frequency response and things like that, again, you know everything you need to in order to find, the, let's say, small signal parameters such as gain, such as input resistance or resistance. And uh, therefore, you are now free. Go and do whatever you want with any CAD you like. Uh, I'm going to finish the discussion on BGT amplifiers today. So we looked at one type of these amplifiers last lecture, uh, which was a common emitter amplifier. We said there were three. And then uh, today I'm going to show you one example of a common emitter amplifier, show you that now that we know how to do the small signal analysis, and now that we know how a common emitter amplifier behaves, and after we do a few hundred examples, we will be comfortable just by you know, looking at the circuit, figure out how it works. It just comes with experience from that point on. You know all the tools. You have all the tools. We go to one example such that. Then I'll show you the other two types of amplifiers and tell you, you know, what is good for what. And then that's it for BGT amplifiers. Okay? So, let's just review the common meter amplifier quickly. This is my basic stage. And again, remember, I'm not drawing bias in here, and I'm ignoring the area effect. A basic common emitter amplifier is like this. You apply the in to the base, take the output from the collector. Emitter is usually either grounded or only has a small emitter resistance here. So this emitter resistance compared to RC on top is usually very small. Right? This is your core stage. And again, I'm ignoring bias. Right? This an H bias in that for example, here to establish the current that you want to get the GM that you like to get the R bias that you will get for that chain system. I'm not showing that. I'll go through one full example right after this. But this is the core stage. This is where all the magic happens. This is all the influential components in terms of your game. You have your input that goes into the base, output that is coming out of the collector. RE here helps you with stability, you pay the price in gain. We analyzed this circuit, we saw that the gain, voltage gain, which is the ratio of the amplitudes here, right? The amplitude of the output to the input. There is a phase difference of 180 degrees, and the magnitude is GMRC over 1 such GMRC. So if you go and look at the most basic amplifier, which doesn't have this RE, you set RE0 over there, you get the gain of minus 2. 